<laughs> turn that music down quick. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. And uh, hope you're having a good end of the week. Um, it's Friday, in case you want to know. I rarely give the date, because the show does play at different times, <laughs> different, ti- di- different days, different times. Um, I don't know, maybe we're in sp- we are in space. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the new discovery that they're sending out this weekend? with um, being able to 3D print organs in space. That's I, amazing. I was, well, that, now that you mention it, as I was driving in today, I was listening to uh, some official. You know, when they turned over the space program to private industry, everybody thought, oh, it's going to go into the ditch. It's going to become a dumpster fire. That has not been the case. SpaceX and all these different companies, they are making plans to send people back to the moon to prepare them for Mars. And they're going to live on the moon for a while. Right. And they want to be able to test their tools, their hatchets. and Because on, on the moon, uh, there is no wind, there's no rain, so there's no erosion. And, it's a, and to navigate through the terrain is difficult. The rocks are sharp. Again, no wind, no rain, nothing to wear down the landscape and so they're going to they're going to people are going to live up there for a while and prepare them to test their equipment and to do different experiments that prepare them to go to mars moon the moon is a harsher environment than mars and they're studying with respect to health this is a i mean how uh, space travel affects i mean they know a lot about the effects on the body, and we weren't made to be in space, right? And weightlessness and all of that creates all kinds of health issues, potential health issues. So they have to figure out a whole new, I guess, set of rules, (laughs) practices to stay healthy in space and to keep these astronauts fit while there for long periods of time. No gravity, you know, with osteoporosis, for example, you need weight-bearing exercise. You have to be going against gravity. In weightlessness, there is no pressure on the bones. So you can imagine living in a weightless environment for weeks and months and years, years. How it affects the cardiovascular system, I'm not sure. But that's a whole nother field of health and wellness. Have not talked about that on the show. And, and I avoided it because people say it's not relevant, but I think from a curiosity perspective, it, 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 has, some mer- it has some value. You know, we can learn a lot about our health on Earth by studying our, the conditions in space, putting humans in space. And you have this, you have a point of reference, a comparison and contrast, and one may illuminate the other. So, you know, it's, it's just, I'm intrigued. You know, how do you get people to live on Mars for weeks and weeks? I don't know. You know, two weeks or whatever. I don't know how long they're going to put them up there. But private enterprise has really uh, stepped up here. People are going to be taking trips. You, it won't be long. They're going to commercialize trips into space. I see it. I see it happening. I see it happening soon. Very soon. This is not far up, that far off. So it's risk. It's a risk. But their people are very adventurous, and I'm just trying to get out of the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, you know, Katie, she's running around all over the city all the time here. I do. You went to went to, she went to Bush Gardens yesterday. I did. And I walked in this morning and I said to her, I said, Did you see the Lion King? And she said, No, I didn't stay up late. And I'm looking at her. And I said, What are you talking about? <laughs> she said, I said, Bush Gardens. No. She said, I thought you meant the movie. 
came out last night, right? It's a very strange coincidence. Yeah. Circle of she life. Sing it, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at me like, how would you know the Lion King came out last night? <laughs> You're going to go see it, right? I am going to go see it. I couldn't quite stay up till midnight because that's about the time I'm waking up, but I am going to go check it out this weekend. I'm super excited. It's the live-action remake of it. Okay, so I have the coolest friend in the world. His name's Levi Tinker, and he runs the Chinese Theater in L.A. That's awesome. I've been there. And he's the one who, when they do the handprint ceremony, he, he does the announcements, and then he's the guy who actually puts the star's hands in the cement. Or cement. Depends if you're from Ohio. How does one get that job? He. <laughs> That's a hard job. That's how he's just. Kidding. I think so, yeah. <laughs> and I talked to him about it, and he said it was an amazing movie. So. Awesome. Well, all right, Katie, you're going to go see it. We'll get, we'll get your movie review on The Lion King. I'll pro- all right, I'm perfect. probably not going to go see that one. Okay. I'll check it out for you. I'm, I'm looking for James Bond coming out. <laughs> I'm looking for that one. That's the one I'm looking Maverick's for. Maverick's coming out. Yeah. That one. We're going to go that. You know that. Right? All right. We'll go see that. I'm a James Bond fan. I have the 50-year uh, anniversary watch uh, for James Bond. I bought that watch when it was <laughs> films were 50 years old. It was, yeah, I'm a fan. 877-897-8255. Here's a quiz. Hmm. Let's see if Katie has learned anything on this show. Oh, gosh. I hate quizzes. I was never good at these. Which of the following is the leading state for obesity? Okay. I'll okay. Just think about that for a second. Okay. Talking about obesity, talk, thinking about states located in different parts of the country. Okay. A, Alabama. B, Alaska. C, West Virginia. Which one of those? No, Gary. Oh. Alabama, Alaska, or West Virginia? Which one of those is the leading state for obesity? And it, it, it weighed in at 38.1% obesity. That's how many people in the state? That's the percent of people that live in that state that are obese, 38%. Ooh. I would say West Virginia. Yeah. Oh my memory! Out of girl, why did you pick West Virginia? I really don't know. I don't really have a good answer for that. Good, good guess. Yeah, it is West Virginia. Mississippi was second at thirty-seven percent. Oklahoma third, thirty-six and a half percent of the people in Oak in Oklahoma are obese. I didn't Iowa. Know that was actually a real thing. I used to work with a host who constantly made jokes about that, and I didn't know it was actually true. Well, Iowa. 36.4, Alabama, 36, Louisiana, 36. You notice a trend here? A lot of these are southern and midwestern states. South Carolina. Alaska is the only one that's the outlier here. It, was, it came in at number nine. 34% of the people that live in Alaska are obese. But West Virginia, I don't know what's going on in West Virginia, but all bad, it, all these when they want to study bad trends, they go to West Virginia to, to see what, to get a, you know, a sense of what's happening. Jeez. Yeah. So we'll, we'll take a look at that today. We'll, uh, that's something that's trending. The worst and best and worst states. We'll find out who's doing well. This, this problem will not go away. It's, it's, the CDC is now reporting obesity rates at um, 30, 35% and better. Mm. So, uh, you know, you walk down the street at random, one-third of the people that you're going to see are going to be obese. The other third are going to be overweight, and the other third are, are where they are. They're not overweight, overweight or obese. The other two-thirds. It's amazing what we're doing. I, I've talked about this so much on the show. I even, you know, I even stopped, I, I stopped reporting on it for a while, give it a rest. Um, but the, the, it's, it's just out of control because nothing has changed. 
this is the problem. <laughs> as if I, as if I had this absolute solution. Here's one of the issues. Why the a resolution issue? They keep trying to find something uh, to cure obesity. Medications, you know, they're doing all different diets. The root cause of obesity. And this is a news. This is a news bulletin. Alert the media. Is food, you know, food, the way we eat. Until we change this food paradigm that dominates our culture, until there is a shift away from these processed foods, they can come out with all the drugs in the world. They can do whatever they want. It's not going to go away. health retailers the science of psychology tells us there is a connection between looking more attractive and having more self-confidence one way to look more attractive is to have healthy looking hair Ridgecrest herbals award-winning hair revive can support healthy attractive hair hair revive is formulated with a stress fighting complex hair growth ingredients a hormone balancing complex and Chinese herbs taken together the ingredients in hair revive promote hair growth encourage healthier, thicker looking hair, and support recovery from damaging hairstyling techniques, harsh chemicals, and daily stress. So start looking more attractive with healthier, thicker, and shinier hair with Ridgecrest Herbals Hair Revive. Visit rcherbals.com for more information or call 1-800-242-4649 and mention this ad. That's 1-800-242-4649. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Want to get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult? Try PGX from Natural Factors. This revolutionary product is clinically shown to help people achieve their ideal body weight in a safe, natural way. PGX helps you feel full for hours, dramatically reduces the glycemic index of any food or meal, and ultimately causes the release of the compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. As medical doctor Mark Hyman said in his best-selling book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, if you choose to use only one supplement, PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit pgx.com.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Best and uh, worst obese states. So Katie got, we're going to have quiz number two now, Katie. So oh, goodness. You, you okay, know, let's do it. She got the first part right. I asked her which was the most obese state, and she got it. It was West Virginia. I gave her three choices. Uh, the top ten worst obese states in this order, starting with number one down to ten. West Virginia, notice the pattern. West Virginia, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Iowa, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas, Kentucky, Alaska, South Carolina. The one that doesn't fit in there a lot is Alaska, but they're either southern states or is Kentucky considered? What's Kentucky considered? It's a, su- it's a it's a southern state. state. Okay. Yeah, All right. southern yes. type. Uh, what about uh, we know Al- What about Iowa? That would be Midwest. Midwest, yeah. Okay. Farm country. Okay. Um, Ohio, uh, Ohio is number 11, but most of the states, one, two, Oklahoma, Midwest. Right? Yeah. Okay. So Oklahoma mm-hmm. and Iowa were three and four. The rest were southern states except for Alaska. Alaska very much surprises me. Yeah. I peg them for eating a lot of fish and fresh food just because of where they're located on the map. So that surprises me. Well, they don't get that many fresh vegetables. That's right. Well, that's it, everything's in, everything's shipped sure. in. A, a gallon of milk's eight bucks. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I don't need that incentive not to drink it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just have. To, I just. I can tell you why you shouldn't do it. And you can. I can save you eight bucks. Um, the the South. The way the food culture in the South. There's a, there are, you've probably seen the show on cable, uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Uh, have you seen that? Have you ever, any? I have, yeah. Okay. I happen to like that show uh, only because I, it's about the food culture, and it's all fast food, junk food, restaurant food, you know, high salt, sugar, and fat. Um, and I want to understand what's being served. And it's, it, the show is, is, I like it. Uh, he does a great job. The host does a great job in finding the, the, <laughs> the most nutritional uh, committing sins on the planet. I mean, he can find it. And all kinds of food, the way they can manipulate salt, sugar, and fat, and, and just with those three ingredients and what they can do to make food taste better. So through the South, when he does shows, uh, I'm trying to think of the fellow's name. He's got blonde hair, white hair. Guy Ferreira. What is it? Guy Ferreira. Guy Ferreira. Yeah. And he does a great job. And when he goes through the South, my God. You know, one of my guests years ago, uh, he's he was in, out of Little Rock. He was in Arkansas. And he had an accent. And he we used to talk about the food culture there. And he, and he said one day on the air, you know, Dr. Garko. <laughs> Gravy is a beverage <laughs> in Arkansas and Alabama through the South. Gravy is a beverage, and there's some truth to that. And so we have an epidemic of obesity. You know, some of those states in the South, obesity at 35 and higher percent of the population. And so, and we're talking about a lot, you know, quite a, a, the, the population size of all, you put that all together, that is, they are in peril. And how do you correct that? What are you going to do? You can't legislate the food out of the culture. That's not going to work. This is a, this, this is a real, what you talk about a, a, a difficult problem to solve. And I've always said, I'm, and I'm on record to say it, the solution to this problem the target audience are healthy young children. And it has to be taught in school. That's the, that's the target audience. You're not going to treat your way out of this epidemic. 
You have to teach your way out of it. You have to teach your way out of it. How? You, think about this, Gary. Just take those states, West Virginia, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas, Kentucky, South Carolina. Just take those top from the top 10. How in the devil are you going to go in there and tell those people that they need to change the way they eat? It's engraved eating. It's engraved eating in the culture. Oh. Gravy, pancakes, eggs and bacon for breakfast, L There's meatloaf, I'll, I'll bet mashed you. potatoes. I'll bet you we can visit some homes and we'll find lard in a mason jar. Want to bet me? Oh, lard? How about bacon grease? Bacon? Be no, better yet. Okay. Katie, did your mom have bacon grease on the stove when you were growing up? Yeah. There you go. See? And he's right. It, it, the, the, how are you going to change that? You can't legislate it. You can't go in there and treat all. You just can't do it. You have to teach your way out of it. The children growing up in those southern states have to be given a different way to eat. And Rufino says it's your choice. Hmm. Don't be stupid. women can go without their shirts on Honeymoon Island State Park and beachgoers are expressing their thoughts. Well, I, I think if they uh, if they want to go topless, they'll go topless. I don't want it with children, but if it's screened off somewhere special, then why not? Top 3 Equality Day is happening August 25th with Florida's News. I'm Chris Trankman. From the 1250 WHNZ Florida Central Auto Loans Traffic Center. Minor crash on eastbound Bush Boulevard near 275. The left turn lane is blocked there. Also a crash being cleared in St. Pete on southbound MLK, just south of 5th Avenue North at 4th, and a couple lanes are blocked here. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm Abrahamson Uterick Hillsboro. Traffic tip line 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Discover Home Equity Loans. Make home improvements or consolidate debt with a home equity loan from Discover Bank and MLS ID 684042. Save with zero application fees, zero appraisal fees, and zero cash due at closing. Learn more at discoverhomeequityloans.com. Pros do it right by relying on trusted brands. Lowe's is here to help by stocking more of those brands, like DeWalt. Shop Pro Bonus Days and save $130 on a DeWalt 4-tool combo kit with two batteries and a charger for $269. And get a DeWalt 16-pack reciprocating saw blade set for $19.98. During Pro Bonus Days, get exclusive Pro savings with your Lowe's business credit account. And enjoy breakfast on us all week while supplies last. Do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. Offers valid through 721. Credit terms apply. U.S. only. Napa Know How. 
This month at Napa, when you buy a five-quart jug of Valvoline Full Synthetic Motor Oil for just $24.99, we're making a donation to the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, which means your purchase makes a difference. So do some good and get a five-quart jug of Valvoline Full Synthetic for just $24.99. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa Know-How. Napa Know-How. General States pricing. Sales prices do not include applicable state local taxes or recycling fees. Offer ends 731.19. From the 1250 WHNZ Rude Air Conditioning Weather Center, rely on Rude. Your Tampa Bay forecast, mostly sunny, heating up fast, a 40% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, high 91. Tonight, mostly clear and muggy, low 78. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and hot with a 30% rain chance, high 93. For more news, weather and traffic, tune to WFLA at 94.5 in St. Pete, 105.9 in Tampa, or 99.1 in Newport Ritchie. This report is sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Great news. There's a quick way you could save money. Switch to GEICO. GEICO could help you get great coverage at a great price, and it only takes 15 minutes to see if you could save 15% or more on car insurance. Go to GEICO.com today and see how much you could save. Mark Levin is now on 1250 WHNC. So I'm a little confused here because I thought Obamacare was so bad that they needed to replace it with Medicare for all. Didn't they? Don't they? We need single payer because Obamacare is not cutting it. So even though Obamacare went a long way in destroying the private health care system, it didn't destroy it enough. So now we need Medicare for all. That is, destroy Medicare. Here, Mark Levin, weeknights at 7 on 1250 WHNC. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. Reviva Labs, the natural skincare authority. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Advice columns and music, uh, two off, sort of offbeat, not really, though. You'll see uh, how it's related to health and wellness. Taking a look at the most and least obese states. So Katie got the first quiz one right. Here's quiz two. <clears throat> All right, Katie. Uh, just use your... So I guess you have to rely on your instinct. Which of the following states had the best obesity rate? Uh, the, oh, I feel like I know this one. The lowest. Well, we'll see. We'll see. What <laughs> was it? Connecticut? Was it California? Or was it Colorado? Which one of those three was not on my list? Had the least obesity? Yeah. Connecticut, California, or Colorado? I thought I was so good, and that was. <laughs> what's your What's the first answer that comes to mind? What's your first choice? Like, what was my answer outside of that? No, among those three. When I say Connecticut. Colorado. That, was that your instinct? It is because I've been to Colorado, and I know they have a lot of healthy I thought I could trick there. you by throwing in California. You got it right, kiddo. Oh, yay. I would have said Hawaii. Hawaii, Ooh. you're close. Hawaii had 23.8% obesity. They, they were third from the bottom. That's okay. good. And the District of Columbia was 50th, and then Colorado was the 51st. They had the least obesity at 22.6 percent. Very good. California was at 25. That so you got both. You, you can move to the front of the class. Woo! There you go. West Virginia was the worst. Colorado was the best. And I thought I could trap you. I thought I could throw in that you know that bait of California, and you'd go for California. She got it right. I'm just saying. Somebody just sent me a. Um, a text. A text saying, you know, everybody in Colorado has munchies. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see if that holds up. 877 <laughs> 897 8255 877-897-TALK. Um, there's uh, advice columns. Um, these columns have a lot to do with people's mental health. And we are intrigued with advice columns, right? So we're going to explore that a little bit. One of my guests today, and my only guest today, the guest today, is Charlotte. 
Charlotte Trask. Miss Trask, welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Uh, Yay. West Virginia is the worst. Colorado is the best. Uh, the CDC is reporting obesity rates in at least over a half a dozen states, over 35, 35% and better. That is just remarkable. Uh, it, it's unabated. It's not getting better. Uh, they can't seem to figure out what to do with this. But as I said, you can't treat your way out of this. You're going to have to teach your way out of it. Uh, you live up. You live in Connecticut. I live in Vermont. Oh, you live in Vermont. Um, yeah. I wonder where where Vermont ended up on the. Um, they were 40th. They, the obesity rate in Vermont is 27.6 percent. Not too bad, um, compared to, you know, West Virginia weighed in at 38.1 percent. Uh, so Vermont, relatively speaking, is not doing, you know, not it's not great. That doesn't count overweight. I'm just curious. Have you thought about this issue much, or does it come up in the company? Is it is it a driver for for product formulation? I mean, what goes on in in your culture? Absolutely, I think that you have to be mindful of what everyone is struggling with right now, and and weight is something that we all struggle with. And, and even if you feel like you are a healthy weight, you know, you start to get stressed out. You start to have these external influences. And then the next thing you know, you know, you put on 15 pounds and you're like, where did this come from? How where did, did it come happen? from? <laughs> where did this, where did this come from? When when where was this package from? delivered, right? Mm. Exactly. Uh, and you know, um I I I just don't know, Charlotte. Uh, you, so much money is being spent to try to figure out what to do about this. And this is, you know, bad things usually get worse and good things usually get better. This is a bad thing that's getting horribly worse. It's not abating. They cannot, t and they can't because they haven't changed the fundamental cause, which is the food culture. This well, is, and it's also, it's also shortcuts, right? Nobody, I mean, there, you got to do the work. Well, you got to do the work. Obviously, people have a hard time doing the work. So the best thing to do is prevent them from getting into that state of obesity so they don't have to struggle but until the food culture changes I don't I just don't see how you treat your way out of it we don't well, seem to be um, we don't seem to be good candidates to change our eating behaviors Charlotte I think that we could be and that's the thing that I, I think that when I say you have to do the work it's not just about like personal work it's work as a culture and work as a society to cool. make you know healthy choices part of our everyday lifestyle and a part I mean you know we, we talk about this right do we have healthy fast food drive throughs you know it's not like people are driving through and getting carrot sticks it doesn't happen no and I find it ironic they call these convenience foods I can't think of any more convenient food than fruit hmm. <laughs> how more convenient can it be it's as convenient as it comes and some of the vegetables, like carrots, they call these convenience foods. And people, get they get seduced because of the convenience. Yeah, they get, they get seduced and they get addicted because of the taste, the smell, the way it looks, makes them how they, how they feel. It's a, it's a complicated relationship, Charlotte. But these foods are designed to be addictive. They're designed to have sugar in them, which makes your body crave it to come back to it. They're designed to taste a certain way every single time so that you come back and you come back and you come back, right? And you have this reliable taste and sugar and, and your body begins to crave that. And, and I think that we have to look at the fact that, you know, these are companies that are trying to make money and I understand that. But I also think that we have to be aware of what we're ingesting when we're going there. What you just said makes eminently good sense, but it doesn't resonate. It just doesn't. There is a weight loss program that's being advertised on TV. It's unique. It's the first time I've heard in a commercial the use of cognitive behavioral therapy. 
which to the average person sounds like hocus pocus. It's, you know, something out of psychology. This is complicated. And they use cognitive behavioral therapy to change the person's relationship with food. I'm a fan. That, that protocol, that therapy does work, but it takes a big commitment and people that to administer it and a commitment on the part of the people trying to change their behavior. I don't know. Uh, we come back. I know you didn't come to talk about obesity. We'll see what you came to talk about. We'll get you to open up your briefcase and reveal your topic for today. Charlotte Trask, Coast to Coast and Globally. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. years of prohibition and misunderstanding, hemp is back to help you stay healthy and balanced. Growing research is showing that we have a lot to learn from the remarkable hemp plant. Nutrient-rich products like Plus CBD Oil's Total Plant Complex concentrated products provide broad-spectrum nutrition, including fatty acids, plant sterols, cannabinoids, terpenes, and naturally occurring vitamin E. From seed to shelf, all Plus CBD Oil products provide the highest quality hemp-derived CBD products available and are offered in a variety of delivery systems and flavors to suit your needs. Ask your local independent health food store about Plus CBD Oil products by CV Sciences today and learn more about about the CBD evolution at pluscbdoil.com. That's pluscbdoil.com. Did you know that you have three brains? Yes, you heard right. Exciting new research reveals you have three brains, your head brain, your heart brain, and your gut brain. These three brains are like an orchestra with billions of neurons working together to create a harmonic symphony. This intricate relationship between these three brains impacts your mental, emotional, and physical health. The Three Brain Supplements from Natural Factors is a bold new innovation in mental health. It provides a whole body approach to balance brain health and well-being. Start with the Three Brains Total Kit, which includes five supplements that are essential for three brain health. The kit provides foundational support for all three of your brains. Then, depending on your unique needs, choose from higher thoughts to enhance brain performance, mental sunshine for healthy mood balance, serene mind to relieve stress-related fatigue, or the best sleep for restful sleep. Learn more at 3brainshealth.com. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. 
competitor's prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit VitaminDiscountCenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Charlotte Trask is our guest today. Good guest to have on a Friday edition of the show. Uh, Charlotte is able to... Um, can't do it with every guest. I can take her into different sectors, uh, off topic and whatever. And if she come, she has to, a particular theme in mind that she wants to address, and I certainly want to respect that, give her the time to unpack that. But I also, I also like to in, uh, implicate the guests, uh, sit, <laughs> put them into a, um, as, you know, it's a journalist part where I want to, not catch the guest off guard, but I want an authentic response. And I don't want some canned, you know, politically correct response. I want an honest, authentic response from these people that come on to the show. And that's, that's what makes for good radio. That's what makes for good journalism, to get the honest response. And so I can always count on Charlotte. She'll give me an honest response. And sometimes it may not be what you want to hear, but it's authentic. Charlotte, welcome back. Um, so anyway, again, we're uh, at the top of the hour. I asked uh, one of my Katie, uh, one of the producers here, to film me. We're I'm going to do a little vignette today and post it on about the obesity epidemic. You can't treat your way out of it. You have to teach your way out of it. So, and you're part of that project. You're you know you do that. That's the work you're doing every day, working for for new chapter and and. Maybe not directly, but indirectly. Well, I mean, we, we try to do as much education as we possibly can. You know, being a health advocate, being your own health advocate is so important. Making good choices for yourself is, is really important. And, and if you understand why, it, it's a lot easier. It's like, oh, I understand how this is working in my body and what's happening. And, and then it seems almost easier to, to manage. But it's, it's this mystery, it's this, um, it's this fear of stepping on the scale and seeing where you're at today. Um, and, and we have to get over that. We, we have to confront these things head on. Yeah. And the, the target audience, the, the, the target population to teach your way out of this is healthy young children. I know that that sounds so counterintuitive to many people. You say, but they're okay. You, you have to target the adults that are obese and the kids that are obese. I'm not saying you don't treat them, uh, but to, in order to change the culture, the food culture, you have to, it's healthy young kids. Uh, well, I, that's, think it's, yeah. I think it's interesting because what you're bringing up is, is basically, I mean, when you think about kids, we're inheriting our parents' habits. Mm. Okay. And when, and you know, we do a lot of microbiome research here at a new chapter. We've done a lot of probiotic work lately, um, you know, and what we're finding is, is because kids eat the way that their parents eat, right? They're more likely to inherit their microbiome. Okay. So, and when you're talking about starting at ground zero in a foundation, right, that really starts when you're young and with what you eat and the habits that you observe. And so that is passed down. Absolutely. And it's done epigenetically. Uh, <clears throat> we all, I say the relationship with food begins in utero. When your mom was pregnant with you, uh, what she ate began to shape the 
not the sequencing of your genes, but the expression of your genes when you become once, once born. And we now know that a mother can eat in a way that would increase the odds of the child once the ch once the feed is once its child is born to become obese. These are epigenetic, the world of epigenetics. That that's an intriguing world, and um, yeah, you're absolutely right. We inherit and we get shaped and formed. Hard to change. It's why you, you can take a six year old and it's difficult to change the way they eat. Never mind a 36 or a 46 year old person. I've got a four-year-old who's pretty difficult, too. There you go. <laughs> so you alluded to uh, probiotics. A uh, new chapter, you, you say you've all been doing a lot of work. on What, what are the, I, I don't know if you wanted to talk about this, but sure. uh, in terms of your probiotics at new chapter, what's the basic point of view that you all have there, and what do you have? Well, I mean, we, we actually started out with a, a really simple concept, which is that, um, you know, we, we always start with how do you know your supplement's working at New Chapter? How do you know mm. that these supplements that you're taking are actually doing anything for you, that there's not this placebo effect? And, and you know this. You know, a lot of people have this stigma sometimes about natural supplements that, you know, we're, we're a group of snake oilers out here making promises that we can't keep. And so we really want to educate people so that they understand that when we formulate a new chapter, when we, when we make decisions, when we choose products, when we choose ingredients, that we really do it and it's validated by science so that you're going to feel a difference. And, and we absolutely love that with our probiotics, we start with clinically studied DNA verified probiotics. And, okay, and so let me stop you there. Mm -hmm. Clinically verified DNA pro. What does that mean? To explain to the listener and viewer what that means. Sure, absolutely. So um, let's, let's throw it back to science class a little bit. When you're looking at bacterial strains, okay, they have like a technical name like Bifidobacterium brevae, right? But they only share, like one Bifidobacterium brevae uh, shares 97% with another Bifidobacterium brevae, and that's how you can label it the same way. Now, 3%, you people are like 3%, it's not that much of a DNA difference, right? Not, not that bad. But when you look at chimpanzees and humans, right, we have a 99% DNA similarity with chimpanzees, so that 1% makes a huge difference. And we at New Chapter believe that 3% difference makes a huge difference in the way your probiotic works. So we DNA match to probiotics that were used in clinical studies to show that they gave results for what we wanted to use them for. Hmm. So all organisms, micro or not, possess DNA, driver, right? So yeah, this, this, I know it can get complicated. So you have the effects of the, uh, the effects of the probiotic, and you have you're, you implicated now probiotic DNA. So you have you make the the right. DNA choice here and match and whatnot, then what? So then we look at the research and we say, okay, how much did they use in the research? Are they using 50 billion or 100 billion, right? And what we found with the research is they were actually using lower dosages of, again, clinically studied DNA verified strains. And we thought to ourselves, well, if that's what works, that's what we're going to use. So that's what New Chapter uses. We use the same amount that they used in those studies that showed results for those people. And then we also chose the exact same strains of probiotic that were used. And then, of course, with New Chapter style and flavor, we add in our herbal combinations. And we, uh, of course, add in a prebiotic, and that seems to be a big buzzword right now, prebiotic. That's, which, is the, which is food. Mm -hmm. Turns out to be food for the, for the microorganisms, the probiotics. When we come back in the, in the second hour, we'll, we'll get asked uh, Charlotte to uh, name the products and where you, where, you, where you can get them. Fine health stores throughout the United States, North America, that's for sure. And uh, we'll get into much more. Did you have another theme on your mind that you wanted to explore, too? Oh, I mean, you know, we're just, we're riffing. We can, we can just stick on probiotics. That okay. Busy. I have other questions I want to ask you. LTN, Coast to Coast and Global.
wonder it's the best selling iron supplement in North America. Floravital provides all the same benefits as Floradix, but without gluten or yeast. Reclaim your energy with Floradix and Floravital, available at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com forward slash Floradix. Florahealth.com forward slash Floradix. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at YerbaPrima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. The proceeding was a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The Rays play on Tampa Bay Sports Radio, WDAE. To the wall, it's gone! Catch every pitch of Rays baseball in Pinellas and Hillsboro on 95.3 FM and all over Tampa Bay on 620 AM. Rays up! You can wear the same threads as Blake Snell on Saturday when the Rays host the White Sox. All fans will receive a Blake Snell replica jersey presented by Suncoast Credit Union. Don't miss any of the action. Visit RaysBaseball.com. Raise up. Attention all authors. Page Publishing is looking for authors. Have you written a book and want to get it published? Page Publishing will get your book into bookstores and for sale online at Amazon, Apple iTunes, and other outlets. They handle all aspects of the publishing process for you. Printing, cover art, publicity, copyright, and editing. Call 800-664-2871 now for your free author submission kit. That's 800-664-2871 for your free author submission kit. Again, 800-664-2871. 1250 wins WHNZ Tampa Bay available everywhere you want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app download it now this is CBS News on the hour real news real reporting I'm Deborah Rodriguez. It feels like um, you're getting help. Nine-year-old Ronan Smith is trying to keep his cool in Sioux City, South Dakota, where an excessive heat warning is in effect. Today's high climbing to 95 degrees. CBS's Chris Van Cleve is riding out what's expected to be a record heat wave in 34 states at Rockaway Beach in New York City. It's going to get real hot today. It'll feel 102 degrees in New York City, and the weekend's going to be even worse. We're talking to feel, to feel like temperatures around 110 degrees and really humid. That nasty, swampy, hot, humid weather that people just hate that drive them to the beach. 13,000 homes and businesses are now without power in Madison, Wisconsin. Where today's high is 95. The police department confirms two fires at substations, one near the Capitol, the other near the University of Wisconsin. The U.S. says it downed an Iranian drone in the Strait of Hormuz when it ignored repeated warnings and got too close to an American warship. Correspondent Margaret Brennan. Iran's trying to dismiss it, saying it didn't happen in the first place, but it, it is indisputable that the military actions, even though they're limited, uh, they antagonize and they make it difficult to find a diplomatic way out. Firefighters in Greece are checking elevators for people stuck after a 5.3 earthquake just north of Athens. There are scattered power outages, but no reports of serious injuries. The Chicago Police Board has fired four officers in the case of a white officer who shot a black teenager to death in 2014. WBBM-TV's Charlie DeMar. Sergeant Stephen Franco accused of signing off on the false or exaggerated statements made by officers Janet Mondragon, Ricardo Viramontes, and Daphne Sebastian. They're accused of covering up for Officer Van Dyke in effort to protect him. 
The officers are accused of embellishing how Laquan McDonald was still a threat, even though he was already shot. And Dyke is serving a six-year prison term. A lawsuit over the no-call that shattered the hearts of Saints fans is moving forward. Clearly contact before the ball got there. Yeah, it can't be any more obvious than that. Fox's Joe Buck as no penalty was called after a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit to the New Orleans Saints wide receiver, sending the Rams on to the Super Bowl. A judge in Louisiana is allowing a suit to proceed against the NFL. The plaintiffs can also request interviews with league officials, including Commissioner Roger Goodell. The Dow is up 77 points. This is CBS News. CBS News Radio is your home for breaking news. With our team of reporters around the country and the world, we give you the coverage you can trust. Ever wonder why Europeans seem to speak so many languages? Maybe it's because they use Babbel, the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Babbel's award-winning technology gets you speaking right away, whether you're learning Spanish, French, or German. And best of all, you'll remember what you've learned. I always thought I was bad at languages, but after using Babbel, I can tell you I was just taught the wrong way. Using Babbel's 10 to 15 minute lessons, you can be speaking confidently in your new language within weeks. I was amazed that I could start having real life conversations right away. It was so fast. Now I'm speaking Spanish. Woohoo! <laughs> No wonder Babbel is the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Try it for yourself and see why Babbel is the quick way to get conversational in a new language, like Spanish, French, or more. You can try Babbel for free. Go to Babbel.com or download the app and try it for free. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, or download the app to try it for free. That's Babbel.com. All the good stuff. Yeah. Rufio keeps you on top of pop culture. In movie news, Austin Butler is taking on the role of Elvis Presley in the untitled drama that will showcase Elvis's infamous life. The film will reportedly be seen through Presley's complex relationship with manager Colonel Tom Parker, played by Tom Hanks, and will start shooting early next year. Butler had some competition for the role, and so Elgort, Miles Teller, and Harry Styles all auditioned as well. If you're not familiar with Austin Butler, you could see him later this month opposite Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Pitt and Margot Robbie in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. All right. And that's What's Poppin'. I'm Rufio on iHeartRadio. From the 1250 WHNZ Florida Central Auto Loans Traffic Center. Have two right lanes blocked eastbound on Gulf to Bay. Approaching McMullen Booth in the Bayside Bridge, we have some utility pole damage here. Also had a wreck on Dr. King Street at 38th Avenue North. And there's crash westbound on State Road 60 at Mount Carmel Road. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and New York Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans is with you every step of the way to provide a seamless mortgage experience. Visit rocketmortgage.com. Licensed in all 50 states. Equal housing lender. NMLS number 3030. The following is a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the following program are not those of WHNZ AM, its staff, management, or parent company, iHeartMedia Incorporated. Statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. 
It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for tuning in to LTN today. Glad you could. Uh, we are coast to coast and we are global. And um, <laughs> always something on the menu. And if I can, if I can get to it, because I screwed up my computer, I want to, <laughs> I want to report on um, a story about, well, advice columns. And you're saying, what does that have to do with anything that we're trying to do on the show? And the answer is, there are some clues. Uh, that we can, there's something we can learn about advice columns that apply to this show and what we're trying to do and, and your involvement and everybody's involvement in the show. And uh, we want to provide a way for you to connect. And my guest is Charlotte Trass, and we'll, we're going to get to her, back to her in a second. But Gary's going to tell you how to connect. You can reach us at 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. Don't forget to follow us, like us, and share us with your friends on Facebook at Let's Talk Nutrition, on Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 70,000 views now, 1,200 videos, closed caption for the hearing impaired, at Let's Talk Nutrition on YouTube. And one of the reasons why... We try to encourage you to call the show, to write to us, and, and then we can share your message on air through Facebook or through my email. It, what I've known for a long time because of the background and training um, am I in the field that I'm in, uh, I understand that we need to be connected. And there, connection and contact and communication, just a prescription for better health. And taking someone else's advice uh, oftentimes we will ignore the, the advice of our friends, of our family, of therapists and professionals, and we'll take the advice of a perfect stranger. We see this a lot, uh, in advice columns where people write in and they seeking advice. And there's a wonderful article in time magazine, and I want to give attribution to the author uh, Dush Jamie Ducharme uh, wrote the piece and well done piece and some of the points that are made in here she, inter she asked several therapists and professionals who do these advice columns their view about this there's one called Ask a Manager they get 2.4 million visits a year and 50 questions a day the author of that is Al Allison Green and, uh, you know, people write in seeking advice. I mean, that's a lot of questions a day. Then there's, uh, you have other, other kinds of, uh, shows as well, or columns that is, you know, there's one called dear therapist column. Um, and Lori, Dr. Gottlieb, she's a psychotherapist writes for the Atlantic's dear therapist column. And she says the appeal for this stems from the fact that Although we all feel unique and know we are unique, the problem, our problems tend to be what? Shared. And at least to some extent. And when people call into this show, it may be unique to that person, the, the issue that they're talking about, but most likely there are other people in the audience that are experiencing the same experience. Uh, and no, now they'll learn that they're not alone. And Dr. Gottlieb says, I think people, I think that people are really reading, uh, reading things the same way they're asking for a friend. They really find pieces of their own lives in every single letter that people write to her, close quote. And this is a health talk show, but it's really a show about life. I've come to that conclusion after 14 years and realized that how health is so integrated in people's lives. It's not just about your blood pressure. It's not just about your cholesterol. It's far more complicated than that. Uh, you have other experts uh, who, who chime in on this issue in this column by Ducharme. And these advice columns, she writes, have been around for 300 years. This according to Vox News, which I like a lot, by the way. 
Back in 1988, more than half of Americans said they read at least one such column weekly. That hasn't really declined. People still like these advice columns. They're looking for answers. Dear uh, Miss Manners, dear Abby, uh, how many uh, columns are out there? It's a big deal on the Internet, on social media, give people giving advice, seeking some insight. Uh, am I really alone? You know, am I the only one that's experiencing this issue? Most likely you're not. And we find that loneliness, isolation, and depression are epidemic. And you might think, oh, that's just among old people, the elderly. No. We find that to be the case even with young people, even with children. And that's the irony is that we're... It, it, this is such a technologically interconnected society. We have access to millions of people every day through social media. But yet, but yet, we have more and more people that are isolated, anxious, and depressed. And, and lonely. I, go figure. They thought that social media was going to be a, a big cure for all of this. Has not, in fact... There is data to suggest that it has exacerbated it. Because when people get on social media, they start to look at other people's lives and see, and see how other people are living and then become even more depressed because they, they're not living the same way and can't find a way to get there. It's crazy how this all has turned out. So this show, in many ways, is a an elaborate advice column in a sense. I don't, I don't prescribe and I don't treat because I can't. I'm not permitted to do that. I'm only a PhD, not an MD. And I wouldn't do it anyway on air. Without labs, without knowing the patient, how can you do that? That's unethical. It's unprincipled to do that and it's dangerous. And you're going to get sued because somebody's going to hurt themselves. So in many ways, I see the show as an, an evidence-based advice column and where the audience is providing insight into what we're talking about as well as the guest and providing their insight or their advice or whatever. And the, audience, the audience is smart. They can figure out what to do with that advice, whether to accept it, whether to reject it. And I'm very careful about what we conclude on the show and that we try to find as much data and evidence to support the assertions made because some people will follow what you say and they won't be, you know, as, how can I put this, as critically thinking as they should. Just because I say it doesn't make it right. You know, I can make mistakes too. So you, I need to be vetted. Every guest needs to be vetted. But that's sort of what's on my mind about this show. And... People love to eavesdrop. So when you call in and you share what you're experiencing, I'm telling you, I've told you a million times, you are having probably more of an influence than I could ever have or any expert could ever have because people are going to listen to you. You're experiencing it. And I appreciate people that call and self-disclose what they're experiencing. And here's how to connect. 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. Don't forget, you can have your Google advice or Alexa play Let's Talk Nutrition at 9 a.m. Eastern on WHNZ 1250. Charlotte, welcome back to the show. Uh, have you ever written into an advice column? <laughs> um, no, but I, I'm like a lot of people. I'm a fan of reading them. It's interesting how we're intrigued by that, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a part of human connectivity. We want to feel connected to those around us. And when we have shared problems, it makes us feel like we're part of something, right? Therapy sessions. People would pay anything to be able to eavesdrop in on a therapy session with a psychiatrist or a psychologist and hear the patient express some of these most intimate, private thoughts and feelings and how the therapist handles that. There are talk shows that are sort of like that where you have psychologists and psychiatrists hosting the show. That would be a different game.
Is getting a good night's sleep a challenge? Fortunately, there's a superior fast-acting sleep formula called Tranquil Sleep from Natural Factors. This non-habit-forming supplement contains a unique combination of melatonin, 5-HTP, and L-theanine, which works in harmony with your body's natural sleep hormones. Tranquil Sleep can help you fall asleep, stay asleep, sleep sounder, and wake up refreshed, all without feeling drowsy in the morning. The key benefit comes from increasing the time spent in the deeper stages of sleep. It's only in these deeper levels of sleep that we truly experience the rejuvenation, regeneration, and recuperation that sleep provides. Even if you think you get a good night's sleep, give Tranquil Sleep a try. You might be surprised with how much better you've slept by waking up with more energy and enthusiasm to start your day. Learn more at naturalfactors.com. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Celsius is a fitness drink which is clinically proven to function. How? As a thermogenic, Celsius proprietary MetaPlus blend accelerates metabolism, increasing your body's ability to burn fat and calories. And there are only two ways a body burns fat, through increased heart rate and our increased body temperature, thermogenesis. Drinking Celsius and then going into motion is double dipping. You're accelerating the burn and the results are even faster. Celsius is your ultimate fitness partner. No high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. 100% of seven essential vitamins. Proven in six published university studies. How does it work? Celsius proprietary MetaPlus formula, including green tea with EGCS, ginger, and guana seed, turns on thermogenesis, a, a process that boosts your body's metabolic rate. Drinking Celsius prior to fitness activities is proven to energize, accelerate metabolism, burn body fat, and calories. Invest in yourself. Drink Celsius. Look for us at www.celsius.com. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the sleep aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back, welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, this Friday edition of LTN. Uh, always trying to provide you with different ways uh, to take different kinds of supplements with different effects <laughs> rather than the regular fare. And one delivery system that uh, really people like are powders. Uh, they want, sometimes like to move away from pills. They like sometimes liquid supplements and then powders because they're convenient. You can take powder and mix it with something else, water or whatever you want to, your smoothie, whatever. And so I went to New Chapter's uh, website, go to newchapter.com, click on products, and then you see an array. Uh, you'll get these category listings, vitamins, herbals, fish oil, booster powders, mushrooms. Those two caught my eye immediately, then probiotics that we were talking about, and then calcium. So I'm going to catch my guest off guard maybe a little bit, but she's always prepared to answer these questions. Charlotte, welcome back. Charlotte, I'm talking with Charlotte Trask, educator for New Chapter. Uh, these booster powders, I, I was reading about them, um, and I, I'm intrigued. We haven't really talked much about them on the show. Could you just spend a moment 
mentioning these, I think the audience would be interested given what they're designed to do. Oh, absolutely. And thanks for asking. This is fun. I, I like the, uh, the <laughs> random questions. This is awesome. Keeps me on my toes. Um, yeah, so New Chapter realizes that people have pill fatigue. You know, um, we, we do a lot of research and we are finding that people are are tired of pills and they want an easy way to um, add in herbs. Herbs are an amazing um, part of daily regimens and uh, you know our diets aren't really varied very much so we wanted to give people an easy way to add in an herbal complement to their day and we came up with the fermented booster powders. So we have multiple different booster powders that do multiple things. Um, my personal favorite is the fermented aloe booster powder. Um, aloe has been revered for centuries. Um, it has a reputation for supporting the digestive system. It's a gentle detoxifier. It was, um, I believe in ancient Egypt, they called it the plant of immortality. Mm. Super cool. So again, you know, when you're talking about taking care of your digestive health, um, about 90% of diseases can be traced back to the gut and health of the microbiome. You want to lay a good foundation there. And that's what the fermented booster powder does. It lays a great foundation. It uses beautiful herbs like the fermented aloe, fermented turmeric, peppermint, coriander. Uh, I think there's yeah, yeah. cardamom in there. Car so. Cardamom, artichoke, and turmeric, yeah. peppermint, and coriander are included in the aloe. Uh, so it's for, it's also fermented. What yeah. And all of these booster powders, the fermented maca, the fermented black seed, and the fermented turmeric, <clears throat> all, these pro all these booster products are fermented. What's the reasoning there? What's the principle that's operating? Just um, pre-broken down. You know, 70% uh, of people have digestive issues, and um, that means that we're not breaking down our food as, as well as we could be. Um, when you ferment something, it's pre-breaking it down so that it's easier for your body to absorb. And, uh, and we, we do that with our multivitamins, and then we started to apply it to our herbals. We were like, let's see if this makes a difference. And the cool part was is it did, you know. I mean, look at turmeric. Turmeric um, has some compounds that are really hard to digest, one of them being curcumin. And we said, you know, instead of adding something to it like black pepper or something else, we wanted to see if fermenting it would make it easier for your body to absorb it. And make it, it more bioavailable. Uh, the, chemical, uh, the definition, <coughs> pardon me, the definition, the definition, turn my mic off, the definition, <laughs> I need a mic and radio, buddy. Uh, the definition of fermentation is the chemical breakdown of a substance by bacteria, yeasts, or other microorganisms, typically involving the effervescence and the giving off of heat. All right, the, the first part's what to remember, bacteria, yeasts, or microorganisms. That's what's breaking down these compounds, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And, and so just so the audience understands, fermentation is not just boiling something. There's <laughs> more complicated than that. No, no, no. I mean, look at milk and yogurt or um, kimchi, sauerkraut, kombucha. These are all types of fermentation. Involving my, back, typically bacteria, but also yeast and other microorganisms. And uh, yeast gets such a bad rap. I know it does. It does. I know. I know. Uh, and looking at these ferment, uh, these booster products, you, there's one here, um, the, the fermented, the, you alluded to it, the fermented turmeric booster powder. Yeah. Uh, that especially is important because of inflammation. Can you talk about that? Oh, of course. So, uh, you know, I mean, turmeric's so hot right now. It's like the little black dress of, um, mm. of herbs. Everybody yeah. wants it. And, uh, and not a lot of people understand how it works, but turmeric is an amazing herb. Um, it's been around again for centuries. And uh, it's great for helping to balance inflammation systems within the body. It is fantastic for brain health. It's great for cardiovascular health. So it has many applications within the body, which is really exciting. Um, and I think that people want to include turmeric in their day. But a lot of people aren't cooking with turmeric. It's not, you know, I mean, unless, you know, you're a master chef, um, a lot of people find it difficult to add some turmeric into recipes and not change the flavor a lot. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so people wanted to include this. And so our fermented turmeric powder it has a very, I want to say like it's a mild taste to it. The fermentation really kind of takes the edge off of it, which is lovely. You can put it into a smoothie. 
I put it into mine. I barely notice it, but I know that I'm getting, you know, all of those different constituents that you would find in turmeric. Is it, are these, are any of these products organic? Oh, yes, they're all organic and non-GMO project verified. 877-897-8255. When we come back, I'm going to have the LTN health question of the day. Or you can give the answer. I'll give you the question right now. Which state is the most obese state in the United States? West Virginia, Alaska, or Alabama? You should get this. Which one is the worst obese state? West Virginia, Alaska, or Alabama? Visit us at oregano.com. 1250 WHNZ. Online at whnz.com. On your phone with the iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. And iHeartRadio station. I'm Navy veteran Eric Dane. Join us for CBS Eye on Veterans with information for vets transitioning to civilian life weekday mornings at 7.50 and Saturday evenings at 6, right here on 1250 WHNZ. News on 1250 WHNZ. A decision made by Orlando police appears to be a victory for privacy advocates. The city announced the department has stopped using Amazon's facial recognition program after just 15 months of testing. Pasco County deputies are looking for the bare truth about a man who broke into several cars at a Newport Ritchie business wearing a bra and nothing else. He was caught on surveillance video. He stole clothing, a uh, duffel bag uh, with clothing, shirts, things that you typically would find in work trucks that employees would use throughout the day. Detective David Garcia says he then left after breaking into several company cars. Political unrest in Puerto Rico could have an impact on Florida. Anthony Suarez with the Puerto Rican Chamber of Commerce says at least another 25,000 Puerto Ricans will leave the island and move to Florida. With Florida's News, I'm Chris Trenkman. Utility pole repair still blocks two right lanes eastbound on Gulf to Bay, approaching McMullen Booth. In Hillsborough County, there's a wreck in a turn lane westbound on State Road 60 at Mount Carmel Road and an accident at Fowler Avenue and McKinley Drive. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Hedrick Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans is with you every step of the way to provide a seamless mortgage experience. Visit rocketmortgage.com. Licensed in all 50 states. Equal housing lender. NMLS number 3030. Today we decided decide to, to walk, walk to school. The light counted. 15, 14, 41. 31? I mean, 13? We took, took a, a left, left on Carroll Street. Street. Danny's we smart, so but he gets distracted. I realized, realized he forgot his homework. I hope, I hope he doesn't have another bad day at school. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. That's why there's understood.org, a free resource for the parents of the one in five kids with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Brought to you by Understood and the Ad Council. At Indeed, we believe a resume is a great way to see an overview of a candidate. But you're not hiring a resume, you're hiring a person. That's why Indeed offers tools that help bridge the gap between a candidate and the resume. Like skill tests, which let you actually see a candidate's abilities in action to make sure they're a good fit for the job. See beyond the resume with Indeed. Experience Indeed for yourself today and get a free sponsored job upgrade on your first posting at Indeed.com promo. Terms and conditions apply. 
From the Weather Center, Abrahamson and Uterwick. Free consultation. TheInjuryLawyers.com. Pinellas Hillsboro. Your Tampa Bay area forecast, a 40% rain chance today, high 91. Partly cloudy overnight, low 78. For Saturday and Sunday, a 30% chance of rain, highs 93. For more news, weather, and traffic, tune to WFLA at 94.5 in St. Pete, 105.9 in Tampa, or 99.1 in Newport Ritchie. This report is sponsored by Ashley Home Store. Ashley Home Store is breaking all the rules by bringing Black Friday mattress savings to July. Right now, Ashley Sleep mattresses start at just $119 or get no interest for 84 months. Plus, get up to $300 Ashley cash. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Dana Lash and the Dana Show on 1250 WHNZ. Game of Thrones has, the last episode had a racial problem because they treated people, uh, brown people, like they were expendable, what they said. And by the way, somebody sent me a thing that said, stop talking about Game of Thrones. Nobody wants to hear that. Well, then I suggest you go find your old man radio show. Feel free to turn the dial. The Dana Show, weeknights 10 to midnight on 1250 WHNZ. It's Todd Schnitt. If you missed any part of the show, go to the iHeartRadio app on your phone and look for The Schnitt Show. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. Reviva Labs, the natural skincare authority. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Booster powders, uh, yes, from New Chapter. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Uh, they've formulated uh, some interesting options here. Uh, it's a different delivery system. As uh, my guest today, Charlotte Trask, uh, keenly pointed out, sometimes people uh, suffer from pill fatigue. You know, it takes so many studies. And so they look for different delivery systems, liquids, powders, and so on. And New Chapter has developed a one, two, three, four booster powders. Fermented turmeric booster, fermented maca booster powder, fermented aloe, and fermented black seed. We've talked about two of them. We've got two more to go. Uh, let's go to Tampa, Florida, and talk to Paula. Paula, what's the worst obese state in the United States? I believe it's West Virginia. Yeah, uh, poor folks in West Virginia. Unfortunately, uh, Colorado turns out to be the least obese state at 22%. And West Virginia, my memory serves me, is like somewhere like 36% of the people are obese. That doesn't include overweight. You add that in, you're well over 60%. You're probably about 65% or more of the population in West Virginia is overweight or obese. It's crazy. It's out of control. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. I think there's just a lack of physical activity here in the South, it seems. Well, to me. you know, you know that, that intuitively, that's what we would think, right? We would say, and that's part of the problem, but it turns out, uh, and I'm a fan of exercise all day long. I'm in that gym five days a week, and I'm encouraging everybody to keep moving. It's important. But at the end of the day, the variable that accounts for most of the variance for people becoming overweight or obese, and this is not a, a flashing news report or, or, or lead, but it is diet. Diet accounts for most of it. And sometimes people will exercise and they can't lose the weight and they get frustrated because they're thinking the exercise is going to do it and they don't change their diet. It ha you have to start with the food. How true. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever struggled with weight? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, I have uh, Hashimoto's. Oh. And I think that thyroid affects the weight quite a bit. But uh, I try to get to the gym five, six days a week. And, yet, and it helps you? It does. It does. And you know, you're quite, you know, you, that rolled off your tongue. You know, I suffer from Hashimoto's. I mean, it has affected the, if I had to guess, knowing what I know about it, it has affected the quality of your life. You've had to work at this, haven't you? Oh, you do. <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah. Quite well, bit. good for you. You're at the gym, you're going, and that's a good thing. Keep, keep moving. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Oh, I, I like it when people call. I like it when you call, and we, we love having you as, as a listener for the show. And congratulations 
on winning a $25 supplement gift card. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Charlotte, welcome back. Uh, black seed powder. Sort of ha- black seed sort of has this mysterious aura around it. What is black seed, anyway? You know, black seed also has been used since ancient times, and it's got that mystique around it because um, it was used by Nefertiti in her beauty regime. Uh, it was found in King Tutankhamun's tomb, but just so you know, there was like 126,000 things found in his tomb. So we have to be a little bit careful because, you know, people tend to place value yeah. on things like that. You know, one of the but, thing, you know one thing that we've learned from the pharaohs? Hmm. You can't take it with you. <laughs> they sure tried. They were the original hoarders. <laughs> the original hoarders. They, you can't take it with you, man. Um, you so you they, they, found, they found remnants of black seed in, in Tutankhamun's tomb, among, other, among the other items. Uh, it is ancient, isn't it? Yes, but the, it's the recent research that's really exciting for me. Um, black seed's been researched for helping with memory, cognition, and attention issues. It was observed to help stabilize mood, decrease anxiety, modulate your overall cognition positively again. So again, we're just seeing all these brain benefits from it. Um, it's a really incredible plant, uh, and, and basically we're, we're really excited to be formulating with it because it's been around for a long time, but because of the research that's coming out, um, people are really starting to pay attention and, and take notice of it. Yeah, it's it. sometimes they call, um, is it the same thing as black cumin? I, maybe yeah. that, is that, is that the same thing? Yeah, they're both nigella sativa, um, and, and so black cumin is another name for it, but it also goes by a common name of black seed. Yep. Yeah, you're right, nigella sativa. I, I just looked at encyclopedia. You're like a Britannica, you know? <laughs> is that your nickname? <laughs> yeah, you can call me Britannica. <laughs> Britannica. It sounds like a rapper's name, I'm Britannica. Um, 877-897-8255. Black seed, black caraway, Roman coriander, a uh, fennel flower. Those, uh, those are some of the names, right, for this nig- nigella sativa, and it's organic. Yes. Yes, it is. What about maca? Uh, bodybuilders and athletes like maca. Why? Well, you know what? I think everybody should like maca. Um, I'm a big fan. Um, it's an adaptogenic plant. It's um, from the Peruvian Bolivian food culture. It's been around for centuries. It mainly grows in the Andes. And because it's known for surviving at high altitudes, right, think about it this way. You, at high altitudes, you have a lot of stress, right? I mean, you don't have as much oxygen, so things, it's, it's more difficult for things to grow and flourish, and yet maca does there. So imagine you being under stress and having all that, you know, less oxygen, if you will, for, uh, for your ability to thrive. Not, maca really helps to support your energy levels, your mood levels, and even there are some studies on helping with fertility. Now, what is harvested to make maca supplements? Is it the root, the seeds? What what do they? Yeah, it's 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 the root of the plant that is is you know harvested. Um, so it's um, it's a cruciferous vegetable. It's a member of the mustard family, hmm. and it's got a really it's it's kind of an unattractive plant. I'll be honest. It's yeah, I'm looking. I'm green. looking at some. <laughs> I'm looking at some image. In some of these images, they they almost look like radishes. Yes, yes, they have kind of a radish light opinion, but they're they're very bulbous is the word I would use. Bulbous, yes. I'm looking at these. So tubers, what are tubers? You know the the, the technical definition of a tuber? No, not off the top of my head. <laughs> I don't. I do well, not. Well, come on. Come on, Miss Encyclopedia. <laughs> Rhizome, I can get a little bit closer for you, but um, uh, well, I, I think it's a the tuber. Same thing, it's, right? Well, no, you're right. You hit it. It's a uh, it's a much thickened underground part of a stem or a rhizome. For example, in the potato, um, I was thinking, you know, rhizome underground. So it, the mock is not a tuber. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. I'm just. I get, I'm not a herbalist. You know more about these than I do. I have. I get confused at times. You got, you know, legumes, tubers, rhizomes, this zone and that zone, and it, anybody gets confused. Eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five. So these powders, can you just mix them with water? Uh, do you, you? You alluded to smoothies and things like that. Um, 
to make it? How do you do it, or can you do it? Yeah, you can mix it with powders. You can uh, mix it with water and shoot it back. It's, it's a very mock is a very easy flavor. It, there's not a lot of taste to it. Um, I actually enjoy putting maca into my like I make an almond flour brownie and I put maca in it, and I'm a huge fan. There you go. Want to get at the? The Wisdom of Nature with Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter. Zyflamend is a 10 herb blend that delivers three health benefits. First, Zyflamend is an herbal approach to pain relief, helping to soothe minor pain or soreness. Second, Zyflamend is a joint supplement with time-tested herbs to support joint function and flexibility. And the third benefit, Zyflamend supports the body's healthy inflammation response, something that's essential for maintaining whole body health. Zyflamend is New Chapter's clinically tested blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Zyflamend is non-GMO, project verified, gluten-free, and 100% vegetarian. New Chapter is a leader in supplement quality. Every ingredient, every product, every time. Discover Zyflamend, New Chapter's number one selling multi-herbal. Zyflamend is made with ginger for occasional pain relief after exercise. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all natural, high quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at yerbaprima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. Have you been putting off a cleanse? They can be harsh and leave you chained to the toilet, making for an overall unpleasant experience. Rethink your cleanse with fluorescence, a daily cleanse that helps safely and gently detoxify your body. Unlike other detoxes that can be hard on the body, fluorescence supports your body's natural processes, helping it to work more efficiently than it could on its own. The truth is your body is really good at cleansing, but due to the number of toxins we're exposed to, it can use a little daily support. Inspired by traditional Obijway formula, fluorescence is made with eight herbs, burdock root, watercress, sheep sorrel herb, slippery elm, rhubarb root, kelp, blessed thistle, and red clover blossom. These herbs work together to support multiple elimination pathways, gently helping your body's detox systems do what they were made to do, only better. Forget harsh extreme cleanses and cleanse happy. Try fluorescence for gentle daily cleansing that leaves you feeling rejuvenated. Find fluorescence at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. 
formulated with all natural ingredients, Solace is not addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit TakeSolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com look for solace in your local health and nutrition store solace for a good night's rest naturally let's talk nutrition is brought to you by jaro formulas superior nutrition and formulation Natural Factors, where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Looking for a boost? Then uh, give New Chapters Booster Powders uh, some thought here. They're, they have four different ones that really uh, unique. They're organic. They're fermented, and they're in powder form, and they boost in different ways. Uh, the one that if you're looking for, you know, a, a bit of energy, ma- the Maca Booster, uh, Charlotte Trass, our guest today, educator for a new chapter, was talking about Maca. I went and I was did a little research on Maca. It's an Andean plant, it, uh, it, yeah, the Peruvian Andes. It, it's cultivated in the highlands of the Peruvian Andes. And uh, Charlotte was absolutely right. Belongs to the brassica mustard family, and it's a vegetable. It's cultivated as a root. It's been around for over two thousand years. Uh, nutritionally, medicinally, it's, it's been used. Found in Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina. I haven't been to any of those places. Um, it's known as an adaptogen. The body. It, it's an adaptogenic herb. It can you have too much of this and, too, and that, and I'll have Charlotte explain to you what an adaptogen is. And, um, it's been known to, again, be an aphrodisiac and, but a lot of athletes use it for booster energy to boost energy levels. Um, my nice little maca powder before going into the gym wouldn't be a bad idea. What's an adaptogen, Charlotte? like it's just what it sounds like it helps you to adapt your body to different types of stressors Mm -hmm. these powders uh have you gotten any feedback from uh consumers do you get in touch with that or does that the marketing people or whomever customer relations handle that you know, I have my hands in a lot of buckets here at New Chapter. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I actually get a lot of feedback. But real quick, I want to correct myself. It is a tuber. So maca is, ah. is considered a tuber. I, I had to go back and check because I... I, I thought so. Sense. It was. It is. It's a tuber. It's, I thought it's so. Tuber because it's a root, you know? And yep. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. And I just, you know, it's one of those things where you're like rhizomes and roots and what's the difference and, how, and tubers and... So, yes, it is definitely a tube, right? So I had to, I, I'm, I'm a stickler for details. I had to correct No, that. it's good. I, my instinct was to, to classify it as a tuber because it's a root and, um, you know, potato and all that. Uh, let me ask you, uh, totally off topic. Yeah. Japanese sweet potatoes. There's, there's uh, Japanese potatoes. There's different kinds of potatoes, excluding the uh, white potato. What's your take on these starch-based foods. People seem to be wanting to avoid them with great passion. They avoid them. What's your take? Well, I mean, here's the thing. I think it really depends on your personal body. My body is insulin resistant, so I do not do well with carbohydrates. Um, I know this, so I don't eat potatoes. Um, it's, It's part of just who I am as a person and how my body processes sugars. And so I I stay away from them. I think they're delicious. I think, you know, you have different types of potatoes. I mean, you look at at sweet potatoes, and obviously they have different constituents and parts to them than a Yukon gold potato. Um, And and so, you know, the antioxidants within those are, are fantastic. And, you know, again, I think you have to make a choice for you and your body. Hmm. 
I don't know. Uh, when what you, do you think? What I think is this. It goes against the grain of, of contemporary thought. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. He wrote The Starch Solution. Gary, uh, I think that's the title. I, th- I think it's Dr. B- Bernard, but Barnard, check my work, wrote a book called The Starch Solution. Uh, I think that you need a mic. You need a mic. McDougal. Oh, Dr. McDougal. Okay. I just have my authors, but it, that's the title of the book, right? The Starch Solution? Yes. yes you with is. me? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm reading it. All right. So that book. Uh, Dr. McDougall is one of the premier figures in the plant-based world, whole food, plant-based diet, and makes an argument in that book for starches. In particular, some of these, for example, the uh, purple, have you ever seen purple, the, the purple potatoes, sweet potatoes, Okinawan? Yeah. That, I mean, that you read, in that culture, they consume that stuff by the metric ton. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And they're one of the healthiest populations on the planet. I think starches have gotten a bad rap. Um, and I think when you bake these potatoes uh, and eat them properly, they, they're, I know they're a carbohydrate, but I just think that they have other medicinal properties that really are beneficial. I don't run away from them. Um, but, you know, you know your body and you figured it out. Everybody is different, you know, and I think that's part of the beauty of us and part of the, uh, you know, complexity of, of telling people, you know, you can't eat this or you can't eat that. That's a really hard argument to make. So you really have to pay attention to, to how foods affect your own body. And I think that if you can include beautiful purple potatoes, you absolutely should. Yeah, Dr. McDougal, the starch salute. John A. McDougal, he's very good. In fact, he has some foods out. Uh, you'll, you can find them in uh, Sprouts or Whole Foods. McDougal, he, he makes these soups. Uh, they're whole, whole food, plant-based soups. Very good uh, for people that can't cook all day long. Uh, I like him. He's, 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 Dr. McDougal is smart. He's sensible. But it's part of that, that paradigm. Are you a fan of the whole food, plant-based diet, or do you have reservations about it? A whole food plant-based diet? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm a fan. I, I have to say, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of plant-based diets. I think they're amazing. Um, I, I take a fish oil. I'm a big fan of, of my fish oils. Um, you know, I think that your brain is fat and that you need healthy fats, and I think fat's gotten a bad rap. I agree, 100%. As, and by the way, that paleo diet is a high-fat diet. People don't know that, but I'm just, they think it's a high-protein diet. That, that's not true. It's a high fat diet. Newchapter.com. The booster powders. Run down the titles of them real quick and a synopsis of each. Sure. So we have the fermented black seed booster powder. Great for memory and cognition. Um, It has lion's mane mushroom in it too, which is a great additive if you would like to uh, have a little boost for your energy and for your uh, memory that day. Maca, fermented maca blend is great for energy, great for athletes, great for people who are just trying to uh, boost themselves up a little bit. We've got the turmeric fermented booster powder, which is beautiful and, again, great for balancing inflammation systems within the body. And aloe fermented booster powder, great for putting a uh, prebiotic and a postbiotic into your digestive system, setting the ground for good bacteria. uh, It's all all good. They're fermented and organic from New Chapter. Your health is your wealth. See you on Monday. Everyone's raving about the newest botanical super.